Hey guys and welcome back. Well, today we're going to do a modeling tutorial in my 2018, this time a slightly more complex one per request of my Hangout group members. And if you're not a member yet, check out the link below. And before we jump into today's video, just want to let you know that uh, we're uh, progressing on our 3D modeling challenge that is ongoing. The closing date is November 15th. The topic is famous buildings and structures and there are a bunch of cool prize to win. Okay, so I'll put the link to that below as well. And that said, let's uh, jump into our video. Here we go. Right guys, well, we're in my 2018 and uh, let's get started with uh, our model. We're going to model a um, a drawing compass as mentioned and we're not going to do that because it's so cool we're going to do that because it uh, contains a lot of modeling techniques that make things interesting i received that question from a hangout group so that's what we're going to do right now we're going to do this without reference just to make it a little bit more challenging which is always fun and that said let's start with a polygon cylinder okay now i want a little bit more subdivision here this is going to be the top part of the drawing compass the part that you hold between your fingers and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my attribute editor. I'm going to set that to 40. And uh, let's see, that looks about right. Okay. We're going to hit R to scale that up a little bit until I'm happy with the height like that. Looks okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to jump in to our top view. We're going to right click at a face, drag select. So we've got these faces here. And I, hang on, I only want the bottom ones here. So let me think for a sec. Um, yeah. Okay, what I'll do is I'll uh, just take the top one. Okay, because I got different plans with the bottom here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select uh, these two and hit the shift period like that. I'm going to hit Control E to extrude, R to scale in. It looks like I got a little bit too much going on there. And I do. Yeah, sorry about that. Try that again. Control E to extrude, R to scale in. There we go. W to push up. That looks about right. Now keep in mind, I don't have any end guns right now. I do have some triangles, uh, but that is fine as, uh, you know, if you were to use this in a game engine, then it would be triangulated anyway. And in this case, even if it would have an end gun, it wouldn't be a problem because we're not gonna texture it, we're not gonna animate it, okay? But that looks fine so far, okay. Now, I do want to um, tweak these guys. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna extend this bottom part here. So select one, shift select the other, and then hit shift period. And for whatever reason, it's selecting these guys again, but that's fine. Okay, we're gonna hit control E to extrude. We're gonna hit W to push it down to, um, I don't know, about here. We're gonna hit R, we're gonna push that in like this. Just looking at the proportions here, I think it's okay. Then we're gonna hit G to repeat last command and we're gonna hit W to push that down. About there, all right. Now, we're not quite there yet. What we need to do next is we need to go in and select every other face on this guy. And if you hit four on our keyboard, it's a bit easier to see, but this looks okay. Okay, hit five to go back. Once again, control E to extrude. Let's uh, tweak that thickness a little bit. Now, this is obviously too much. Let's try 0 0.02, maybe a bit more, 0 0.08. Okay, then we're gonna tweak the offset a little and Let's drag on that. You can see it's going the wrong way. It should be really subtle. So let's try 0 0.01. Let's see how that looks. 
Uh, we could maybe do a little bit more than that. So zero four maybe. Yeah, that's better. Okay. All right. Cool. So happy with that. That is done. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to take a uh, polygon pipe. I'm going to hit W to move it down. I'm going to hit um, E to rotate it. Hold down J as we do that and set it up right. Like this. And I'll just take the whole thing in object mode and just move that up. So kind of see what we're doing here. All right, and then I'm going to take this guy. I'm going to go to the attribute editor. I want the thickness to be 0.1 or less. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to hit R to scale it up. And it's way too thick still. And I'm just trying to get a sense for the scale. That's about right. I'm going to go in. I'm going to set this to 40 subdivisions, which is fine. And then what we're going to do is we are going to tweak that thickness once again. 0 0.05. That looks better. Okay. Let's look at this dimension here. That is about right. Bring it in just slightly. Hit W and then bring that up. There you go. Now we do need an opening at the bottom here. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we have our center. Okay. And we're going to right click and get a face. I want to see it from this view. Let's do that here. And let's do this. Yeah. Maybe even one more. Okay, there we go. Then what we need to do is we need to go in and we need to close that up. So we're going to right click at the edge double click go to our modeling menu and go to mesh and fill hole and let's do the same at this end double click and g to repeat last command okay so now that we have that we're going to get to the tricky part the tricky part being a um, a cube and just seeing whether we need to smooth this guy out before we do that let's uh let's have a go let's go to mesh and smooth so we can see what we need to adjust okay now we do need to adjust some things hit one to go back uh, sorry hit control z to go back i thought it was in preview smooth there you go we're going to go in we're going to insert edge loop option box let's do multiple and we'll do two and then we'll go in and we'll add them here. We'll hit R to push them out to the edges like so. And then we should be good. We're going to Q on our keyboard, right click object mode, hit 3 to preview smooth. Looks much, much better. Okay, hit 1 to go back and go to mesh and actually smooth. All right. So now that we have that, we're going to take our um, cube. Where is my cube? What's down there? Sorry. And we're going to stretch that guy out quite a bit. W to move that up. Let's have a look from this angle right here. Because first of all, this has to be at an angle. But we're going to set it in the right dimension first. So I'm going to make it slightly thinner. Move it over and make it considerably longer. Right click vertex. Maybe a bit more. All right, happy with that. Okay, so now that we have that, we're gonna do is we're gonna leave it in this position for now because once it's at an angle and you have to tweak all sorts of elements, it's gonna be a bit tricky, okay? So we're going to go in, we're going to drag select these vertices and we're going to bring them straight down. 
to about there. Okay. And then we're going to go down to the bottom here and take these two and bring them up. Now let's compare them a little bit. Yeah, that looks fine. And then what we need to do is we need to prepare this. Now, what do I mean by that? We're looking at this guy right here. We need to add some edge loops. So we're going to go to insert edge loop. This is still set to two, which is perfect. I'm going to bring them in right there. And then I'm going to go back in and set it to single. And I'm going to set that to single so I can put one in. Let's do that about here. Let's see if that is what I need and want and so forth. Yeah, it looks fine. Okay. So what I'm going to do next is I'm actually going to add one more. Um, or not. Nope, I'm not. I'm going to right click on a face. I'm going to select this face right here. Control E to extrude. W to push that back in. Like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this guy and we're going to. Hang on. We're going to select this face. We're going to delete it. Select that face and delete it. And then we are going to right click, go to vertex one and two. Let's push that up. And the best way to view it is from this view here, like so. And then we're going to go in and we're going to right click at our edge. And we're going to go to mesh and fill hole there you go all right so we've got an opening there for that uh, let's see uh, that all looks okay so what I can do now is uh, right click the object mode I'm going to move the pivot point so I'm going to hit the insert key I'm going to move that way up let's look at our best angle here five for shaded mode Let's move our pivot point to about there. Hit the injure key again. E to rotate. And let's look at our angle. Don't go crazy on it. Hit W, move that over just a bit. All right. Now, <clears throat> this looks okay. We're going to hit the injure key again. W to move it. Hold down X as you do. Sorry, I just want the pivot point to move. Hold down X as you do. There you go. Hit the injured key again. Control D to duplicate, E to rotate. And we're going to make sure that we're in world mode. There you go. Just click on this guy right here. Change that to world mode. And we are going to. Hold down J as we rotate. And there you go. So that looks all right. Okay, what's next? So what we need to do now is we need to create a little a ring that's going to be in the middle here. For that, we're going to take a uh, polygon pipe. W to pull that up. E to rotate. Hold down J as you do so. Have to zoom in. Let's rotate that some more. We're going to go in and we are going to set that to a thickness of 0 0.1. That looks about right. W to bring that up. Have to zoom in. R to push in. We're going to go in and set that subdivision level to 40 to make it nice and round. Let's go into that insert edge loop again. Maybe not just yet. Yeah, actually we will. Hit W, move one here. Move 
move on there. Q on a keyboard. We're going to go to three to preview smooth. That looks fine. And now we need to deal with the dimensions, but I think it looks okay. It does, yeah. So that's that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to create a threaded um, crossbar. So for that, we'll take a, a polygon cylinder, W to push up, E to rotate, hold down J as you do so, R to scale out. We're going to go in, we're going to set this to 40 subdivisions. We're going to set this to, uh, let's see, radius 0.2 maybe. And then height wise, let's just uh, hit W, bring that up to about, that's actually not too bad. And we're going to hit R and we're going to bring that in. We want that to stick out somewhat, not too much. Let's see how that looks. Okay, <clears throat> cool. Now that in itself is not too bad. What we're going to do is we're going to drag select all of this stuff. We're going to go to uh, mesh and combine. And then we're going to hit control H to hide it. Okay. We're going to go to uh, create polygon primitives. Let's do a helix. If I can find it. Yep. W to move that up. F to zoom in. E to rotate, hold down J. And then we're going to go in and we're going to set this to, let's see, radius 0 0.1 or maybe even less, 0 0.02. That's even better. 0 0.05 maybe. Yeah, that's better. Okay, we're going to increase the number of coils a lot. Let's do 60. We're going to tweak that height like this and then of course we need to change the dimensions now for that we first need to have a good look at it wrong view let's try it here there you go okie dokie so what we're going to do is we're going to take this guy we're going to hit w to move it we're going to hold down v while we do so to snap it to our center and then we're going to hit r and we're going to scale this down have to zoom in four for wireframe mode. Let's have a look. Okay, now this is a bit much, so let's go in and let's see the width. Nope, um, that's the one I'm looking for the height. That's pretty close. Bring that in. And let's uh, increase the number of coils to, let's say, 80. We'll hit R. We'll kind of stretch that out again. And now let's see how snug that is in there and how well you can see it. It's not bad, uh, although I want to have a little bit more coils. Okay. So let's see, let's do uh, 140. That looks better. All right, happy with that. So I'm gonna hit, uh, uh, where is it? Display and show all to get everything back. That's okay. And then we need to go in and we need to create some stoppers, if you will. For that, we'll take a polygon cylinder, bring that up, F to zoom in. W to move that out, R to scale that down a bit, and now we're just going to position it, R to scale it up, let's have a look, see what we got, okay, we're going to bring that up a bit more, that is not too bad, now I do want to smooth those edges a bit, and I'm just trying to see whether this guy is a bit too big or not first we need to rotate it hit e to rotate and hold on j like so 
and just looking at the overall proportions not too bad okay so we're gonna go in we're gonna right click go to edge and select these go to uh, edit mesh and bevel tweak that fraction to 0 0.01 maybe a bit more 0 0.03 and then we're going to select it and we're going to go to mesh and smooth. Okay, that's a bit much. So hit control Z to go back. And let's see what else we can do here. Increase those segments a little bit. And let's try that again. Mesh and smooth. Yeah, much better. Okay. So we got that, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit uh, Control D to duplicate it, and W to move it over, and we're gonna want one at that end as well. And that looks about right. Okay. So now that we have that, I'm just looking to see whether I'm happy with the length of these guys. Uh, I think I am, yeah, cool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a wheel on the center here. For that, we need um, another polygon pipe. Hit W to move that up. After zoom in, we're going to hit E to rotate. Hold on J, like so. Make sure it's nice and centered. Hit W to move it and hold on X as you do so. Uh, v, sorry, hold on V as you do so, yeah. We're gonna hit R, we're gonna scale that in until we have a nice fit. We're gonna go in and we're gonna increase that quite a bit. Let's set that to 60, okay? All right, we're gonna hit W, we're gonna move that to our center. Again, hold on X. And then we're going to hit R and we're going to push that thing in. And then we're going to go in and we're going to right click at an edge and select that entire outer edge. Let's see if we've got both sides. There you go. And then we're going to hit R. Yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll deal with that in a sec. Okay. I'm just trying to think how big I want this to be. And then we're going to go in here for for wireframe mode. We're going to bring that back in like that. Okay, let's see if it is big enough or too big. Bring it down just slightly. Okay, that looks fine. All right. Cool, then we're gonna go in again and we're gonna go to face and we're gonna select every other face. to extrude let's tweak that thickness let's do 0 0.02 maybe 0 0.03 and then we'll tweak the offset 0 0.01 0 0.04 maybe yeah that's a bit better okay so we got that we're gonna right click at object mode there you go that looks okay. Still thinking whether that's the right size, but it seems like it is. Yeah, cool. So let's see what is next. So yeah, we need to increase the size of this. Sorry guys. So basically we're gonna scale the whole thing up. Let's have a look. And then we'll have to tweak that inner dimension here, but that's fine. 
We're going to go to Edge. We're going to select that and Shift select that, and then bring that back in. Just for the heck of it, I'm going to go to Object Mode. Three to preview smooth. Let's see what we get. No, don't like that. We could do that. We'd have to add some edge loops, but it looks okay, I think. All right, so now what we need to do is we need to kind of borrow this guy. Uh, so we're going to hit Control D to duplicate, W to move down, and R to scale down because we want a couple of those on the outside here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this view. I have to zoom in. Let's uh, bring that up to about there. Then we're going to bring that in. And we're going to hit E and we're going to rotate it. So it's sitting flush to that wall right there. OK. Size wise looks OK. And it's perfect that we have that little hole in there because of that. What we can do is take a new cylinder, W to bring that up. We need to rotate, hold on J. And we're just going to jump in, hit F to zoom in, R to scale down, W to move up. Scale down some more, pull that out. Okay, now we need that to be at an angle as well. So let's hit E and rotate that a little bit. Let's have a look and see what we got here. Okay, that's not too bad. All right, so uh, we need to make it a little bit longer because we need to see it at this end as well. Okay, so let's push it back a little bit. That's all right, and then this end we need to tweak it a little bit. Okay, so we're going to right click at a vertex, we're going to drag select, we're going to W to move it, and then we're going to double click here and we're going to go to object mode orientation. So when we move it, we actually, hmm, that's odd. Uh, that's possible, yeah. It looks like I'm slightly off on the angle there, that's why it's responding that way. So we just need to bring that back up to about there and then we're going to go to insert edge loop single setting yep add one right there okay after zoom in Q on a keyboard right click face click and shift double click control E to extrude Let's increase that thickness a bit. 0.2. Let's do 0 0.02. That's a bit better. All right. Now we need to bring that in just a little. So let's do that. We're going to, sorry, we're going to right click at object mode, hit W. First of all, let's tweak that angle and bring it in like this. And for the most part, it looks okay. All right, so I'm gonna take this and this. We're gonna to go to mesh and combine. I'm gonna to jump to this view right here. I'm gonna hit the insert key. I'm gonna move my pivot point and hold on X as I do that. So it's snapping right there. Hit insert again. I'm going to hit uh, control D to duplicate, E to rotate and hold on J. Now I'm aware that I can mirror that as well if I want, but this is just uh, the method that I'm doing right now. 
and then what we can do is we can start to put in our needles okay so for that we're going to take a uh, polygon cylinder once again w to move that up r to pull that out <clears throat> excuse me quite a bit we're going to go in and make that pretty high poly let's do 60 let's do 0 0.2 on the radius maybe even 0 0.15 we're going to w we're going to bring that down okay it's still too big 0 0.1 yeah 0 0.1 okay so we're going to bring that in it's going to have to fit right there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the insert key again and I'm going to move my pivot point straight up so it's up in that point I have to zoom in and hit the insert key again so I can basically fit that in there and now if I hit E to rotate I can bring that into position okay <clears throat> excuse me now it's way too long obviously so I'm going to right click at a vertex drag select these W bring that into about there make sure it's still a tight fit that seems to be but we need to make this pointy so let's do about this length okay and then from there I'm gonna go in I'm gonna right click at a face <clears throat> excuse me click and shift click and then shift period these select these guys control E to extrude W to pull out <clears throat> let's check our orientation double click on this guy and go to object mode should be good and it is and we're going to hit R and we're going to scale that down and then we're going to position it correctly because it's a little bit off all right so let's bring that in <clears throat> excuse me a little bit like that and then we're going to move that and now we're going to check the overall length and let's see how that looks I think it looks okay now we need a uh, stopper for that if you will but first we're going to do is we're going to copy this guy over as we did before okay so we're going to right click in object mode and uh, you know like I said oh, let's get rid of this here <clears throat> no we can't let's move it out of the way okay we're going to take this guy we're going to um, first of all go back to world mode and then we're going to hit the insert key again w we're going to hold on x whoops just the pivot point let's snap it come on yeah there you go insert key again control d to duplicate e to rotate hold on j i mean you can do this with uh, duplication you can do it with instancing you can do it this way it, it kind of depends on what your preferred method is all right so now we need to have something to keep these needles in place if you will so for that we'll take a polygon cube hit w pull that up f to zoom in r to scale a bit okay let's push that in here f to zoom in so we can kind of see what's going on we're going to hit R, we're going to bring that in like so and like so doesn't have to be that thick that looks about right now let's get into position I have to zoom in now I want this basically opposite of this guy I have to zoom in we're going to hit E to rotate this. I 
Let's have a look. Seems to be in the right position here. So let's uh, tweak that a little. Let's hit R. Let's uh, bring that in like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to right click at a face, select that face, Control E to extrude, W to pull out. And we want that in object orientation. It's still off, which is odd, but no worries, we'll get it. That looks kind of weird. And let's scale the whole thing down a bit. That's kind of what I was going for. All right. Okay. Now copy that guy over it one more time. Object mode, insert key, W to move the pivot, hold down X, change our orientation, back to world mode. Come on. Let's try that again. Yeah, there we go. Yep. We're going to uh, hit Control D, E to rotate, hold down J. And there you go. Okay. So there's one thing down here that I didn't use so far. Okay, we're going to select this and go to Mesh and Combine edit, delete by type, history, and a modify freeze transformation. Now I'm going to hit E to rotate this guy, W to push it down, and actually maybe we even want to have this upright. It's kind of fun. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, set it on the grid here. And then we'll move the pivot point down. And I'll hold on X to do so as before. And I'm gonna move it over. I have to zoom in. I basically want to have that pivot point on this point right here. And hit the injured key. Now the whole thing needs to come up just a little bit. But now if we hit E, we can basically do this, which is kind of cool, okay? All right, so that is basically it, guys. I am going to uh, quickly put this through um, Keyshot so I can apply some materials and do a nice render for the thumbnail. But as far as modeling is concerned, this is it, right? So hopefully you enjoyed this kind of tutorial. If you have any questions, as always, let me know. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future videos. And that said, see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.